Hey, grade fours. Today I am at Dry Island Buffalo Jump. It is the last week of school. It is Tuesday and I've come down to Dry Island with my family just to camp for one night before I come back to finish off the year with all of you. But I wanted to show you this really cool place. It's the Badlands that we talked about. So, um, I'm just at the start of the grassland region of Alberta. So here behind me you can start to see the landforms we talked about, the hoodoos. It's really dry. This whole valley has been carved by the Red Deer River. I'm going to see where I can walk to take you. Um, it is called Dry Island Buffalo Jump, or it's a buffalo jump because the indigenous people used to come here and drive herds of buffalo off the edge of the cliff or the escarpment that um, is formed by this river valley. And there would be people waiting at the bottom who would process the animals. So some people would drive the animals, scare them or get them to stampede off the top of the cliff. You can kind of see behind me there's cliffs. And the buffalo would die and then they would be processed for food for a whole village. So it's really dry here, so different than Edmonton, but this place is um, where the grassland region starts to, or meet the parkland and boreal forest. It's really hot today. We were just swimming in the Red Deer River, but the landforms are super cool, super amazing. And the plants are all very different, lots of sage, we even saw a few cactus. Anyways, I just wanted to show you this really cool environment and also say that I am very honored, very grateful to have gotten to be your grade four teacher for this whole unusual school year. I know it's been a little hard these last few months not being together, but I do really hope that in September, we'll all be back at Kirkness together and I will get to see you all again. So I wish you a wonderful, fantastic summer. I hope I still get to see some of you a few times in some Google Meets before the official end of the school year. But I just wanted to bring you to this different place for a different kind of nature walk. I'll see if you can see behind me a little bit of the river that we were just swimming in. This place is about a two and a half hour drive southeast of Edmonton. So if you're ever looking for an adventure and you have the time to drive here, it's really cool. All right, bye for now.